How to use Jarvis AI boss mode. Hey everyone, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, Jarvis, which used to be called Conversion AI and is called Conversion AI in most of my other videos. Um, we're going to take a look at Jarvis AI's boss mode feature, which is the newest, latest uh, advancement in the technology, which has been added in a new plan. So they used to just have the starter plan and the pro plan, and now they have starter pro and boss mode, uh, which is what I upgraded to so that I could take it for a spin and see what it can do and show it to all of you as well as use it for my own purposes. So I'm in an empty project right now. And uh, I think some people don't realize that you can, if you just click down here where it says project, uh, then it'll open a little menu and you can add a new project. And you can, I think you can create as many projects as you want. So basically projects are folders for the purposes of, of this. I kind of wish that you that we could have folders within projects so that we could organize a bit further, uh, but it's better than nothing. And some people seem to not realize that you can make projects. So I just thought I'd mention that. Uh, if, if, you, if you have all of your documents in one place right now, uh, then you can just uh, click on project down here and it'll open a little menu. You can create new projects to organize stuff. Anyways, so let's get started with boss mode. So of course, uh, I, normally I would click up here to start a new document, but since I've got no documents in this project, I can click right here. And I could do the blog post workflow, but uh, it doesn't really make a difference anymore. So I'm just gonna go to start from scratch, which is a little bit faster. And now here I can give my document a title, and I'm gonna call this YouTube Tools because I'm planning on writing an article on YouTube tools at some point. So I figured I'll do something that I am actually planning on using rather than, you know, just a sample. And for the title, I'm going to put YouTube tools. Could have copy and pasted that. And I'm just going to leave the description and keywords blank for now. And basically, uh, I'm just going to kind of showcase a little bit of what bot boss mode can do right here. Uh, so that they have a really nice guide. If you just go to pro tips and then boss mode cheat sheet, uh, well, first of all, boss mode 101 training, I highly recommend watching this. Um, but then once you've watched that, then you can go to uh, boss mode cheat sheet. And this just has a bunch of commands that you can use. Um, and so you can literally just copy and paste this if you want. Like, uh, let's, actually, this is a good one to start with. Write some blog post titles about uh, I'm gonna say YouTube tools and then the command for uh, the keyboard command to make boss mode run is control or if you're on PC or command if you're on Mac and enter so I'm on PC I'm gonna do control enter Wow, Jarvis got a little bit carried away here. I asked for uh, topic ideas and it gave me a uh, opening paragraph, it looks like. What are the next steps necessary to become a successful social media manager? In this article, we'll find, find the many steps that you need to take in order to have a successful career as a social media manager. Okay, that's not what I asked for, Jarvis, but thank you. Um, interesting, I don't know where that came from. But let's, let's try being more specific this time and see what happens. So I'll say write five title ideas for videos about YouTube tools and control enter. What are the best tools for recording videos on my phone or camera? What is a call to action and why you need one for your video? These are interesting, not quite what I'm looking for. But uh, I mean, technically this first one works. I just need to improve it. So actually, why don't we see if boss mode can improve this headline for me? Control enter. There we go. YouTube tools for beginners, 10 plus useful YouTube tricks. That's not bad. Let's try it again.
Okay, it's just kind of writing the same thing. I'll try it one more time. Okay, so I think Jarvis really likes this uh, YouTube tools for beginners, 10 useful YouTube tricks. So just for now, we're gonna go with that. Um, we're gonna go with YouTube tools for beginners, 10 useful YouTube tricks. I'm gonna call them apps instead of tricks. Other than that, I like it. So YouTube tools are not just about uploading videos, editing them, or sharing them with friends. The platform provides a variety of advanced features that make it easy to work smarter and accomplish more online. I really like that. Below is the list of some highly useful apps for beginners on YouTube. All right, so that is, uh, that's actually really good. Um, so we've got a title now, right? And we've got an opening paragraph. I don't want, I don't need any of this. Well, actually, I'm just going to save it for later just in case. And so now, now, uh, now boss mode has gotten us going on this project. So we could just use the normal control J, command J to keep writing at this point. And the cool, one of the cool things about boss mode is that you don't need to type in between. So I can just hit control J and it'll keep writing for me. Hey, vidIQ actually is the first tool that I recommend for YouTube. That's all, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. You're reading my mind here, Jarvis. Um, so if, if you look, I, I just generated text and uh, the compose button still works. I can just click it again. And again, I can just keep writing with this uh, and only boss mode works this way. Now with Pro, with Pro Unlimited, you don't need to type a lot in between generations, but you do need to type a little bit every time that you generate text. Whereas with boss mode, um, if you like what it writes and it leaves itself in a good place to continue writing for you, you can just make it write more. So this is probably not gonna be amazing stuff because I didn't edit it at all as I was going. But here we go. Bit IQ, while editing people are often frustrated by their inability to find and add the best music for their videos. <laughs> okay, so it, uh, it got my favorite um, tool right in using vidIQ, but it doesn't seem to know what vidIQ does because vidIQ is not, doesn't have anything to do with music. So we're gonna have to delete this. That's okay. Um, that was just a demonstration of the fact that I can generate as much text as I want. I'm going to keep using boss mode. So now that I have a title and a paragraph, I'm going to say expand on the above paragraph and hit control enter. Okay, so this has got me some interesting stuff. Um, I'm not going to keep any of it, but I certainly could have. Uh, I'm just trying. I'm trying to get this to do something specific for me. So I think I need to get rid of this. I mean, I'm not. I'm just move it down because I do want it. Um, but I think that's throwing it off because it doesn't uh, it doesn't lead it in the right direction. So I'm going to try that last command again. and control enter. Okay, I put the title in here for some reason. And other than that, I think this is pretty good. 
Uh, so, so far we have YouTube tools are not just about uploading videos, editing them, or sharing them with friends. The platform provides a variety of advanced features that make it easy to work smarter and accomplish more online. Within the past few years, YouTube has come out with a variety of tools that help people optimize their channels. These tools are designed to make it easier for channel owners to upload videos, edit them, and share them with friends. Although these YouTube tools are just for beginners, they still offer great benefits for anyone who wants to grow their viewership. I would probably tweak that a little bit, but it's pretty good. YouTube is not just about uploading videos or editing them. Um, so that's a little bit of a repeat. So I'm just gonna take that part out. YouTube provides advanced features that allow people to work smarter and achieve more online. In the past few years, YouTube has released a variety of tools. This is also a repeat, repeat. So we'll just get rid of that. And now we've got a nice little intro uh, sequence here. And so that's uh, that's a w one way that you can use boss mode. Again, now right here is just a full list of all these different ways that you can use it. Um, so I, I do recommend, I'm not gonna do a whole tutorial going through them. I wanted to kind of show you some of the unique ways that I use it. And uh, just to wrap things up, I'll show you one of my favorite uh, boss mode commands. It's not really going to work because I don't have a full article here, but my favorite boss mode command is just write a conclusion for this article and control enter. And this way it like it, boss mode can read a significant amount of the document. So when you give it this command, it's going to read, you know, the last few paragraphs at least and then it's going to summarize it and write you a good conclusion. And so far I've done this with like three or four documents and it's worked really well with all of them. Uh, where did it start? YouTube is more than just a social media platform for watching and uploading videos. It's also an online tool that helps you work smarter and achieve your goals. It's kind of repeating itself again, but then it goes into something unique, faster with advanced features like video editing, live streaming, analytics. The YouTube tools we covered in this article are designed to make it easier for channel owners to upload them, upload videos, edit them, and share them with friends as well as reach their full potential on the site. We hope we were able to provide some useful options for beginners looking to grow their viewership or take advantage of all the benefits YouTube has to offer. So that's pretty good. Um, and if, I mean, you can see, you can kind of see how it ended up a little bit weird because I don't have a full article for it to summarize or conclude, but, uh, that is one of my favorite commands and it does work really well. And again, if you just go here to pro tips and then to boss mode cheat sheet, you've got all of the kind of generic commands. And uh, yeah, um, what I would encourage you to do more than anything else is just experiment with boss mode. Uh, you know, whether you're on pro unlimited or whether you're on boss mode, you have unlimited text generation. Um, so there's no reason to not experiment with, a little, with it a little bit. Uh, if you want boss mode to write you something, give it a specific instruction and hit control enter or command enter and you know see if it gives you what you want. And if it doesn't, then either try again or tweak it a little bit and try. And uh, you know that's kind of how I figured out some of the stuff that I do. And AI copywriting tools are very intuitive and Jarvis is uh, probably the most powerful of the AI copywriting tools. So, uh, you know, put some faith in that and uh, try out some new stuff. Anyways, that's my invitation to you. I hope that this training was valuable for you and I will catch you in the next video.